Hi everybody, today I will show you how to use Remnode. So let's just begin. Okay, so first of all, what you need to do, you have to search for the Remnode on the Google. And here, as you can see here, we have the Remnode.com. So we have to click on this. So this is actually the landing page of the Remnode. And in here, we have the product, we have the community, we have the download. So you can also download the Remnode on the desktop, iOS and Android and Remnode Clipper and we have the pricing, we have the solutions, we have the blog, we have the company and the login. Okay, so let's scroll down and you can see that we can create the notes and documents and the outlines with the Remnode and we can create smart flashcards and you can easily highlight reference and link all of your source material uh, with the help of Remnode. Okay, so you can also work offline with the help of Remnode all right, so now let's just try the Remnode for free here. So if you haven't created the account on the Remnode, you will simply click here. But I have already created the account, so I will go inside the login. And I will log in with my Gmail account here. So this is the dashboard of the Remnode. And in the dashboard, we have all nodes. We have the today's node and we have the flashcards. And you also have the tags and the documents that you have created here. Okay, so in all nodes, we have the documents, we have the folder, we have the top level RAM, we have the PDFs, we have the daily documents. Okay, so first of all, let's just learn to create the document here. So let's click on the create and from here you can create the document, you can create the folder and you can create the table in the text and upload files. But the thing is, the table or the text and upload file are actually the part of the pro version. Okay, so let's create the document right now. And from here, you can actually write down the name of your document. So that would be my first document. Okay, so everything you write in the RAM node is actually the RAM. And in the RAM node, everything works in the parent and child hierarchy. Okay, so let's just take the example. We have this document. And if I write down something inside the document, so if I just write down first chapter, so that would be the child of our document. And if I want to create the child of our first chapter, so what I need to do, I have to write down the tab here. And this would be the part of my first chapter. Okay. So let me just write down the child RAM of our first chapter. Okay. So one, two, and three, and four. Okay, so all of these four values are actually the child RAM of our first chapter. So if I just click here, it would actually collapse inside the first chapter. Okay, so if you want to create the second chapter, what you can do here. So what I need to do, I will just simply write down the shift and tab. Now we are outside the first chapter RAM. Okay, so in the similar way, you can create the second chapter. And it can have the different topics. So let's just write down the tab. And it would be the child RAM of our second chapter. So five, six, seven. So now we have the three topics in the second chapter. Now I have to exit from the second chapter. So shift and tab. And we are out from the second chapter. So this is how you can create the document in the RAM. And even in the topics, if you want to create the child RAM of the topic, you can simply do it. What you can do here. You simply write down the enter and you have to write down the tab and that would be the actually child RAM of our uh, one here. Okay, so let's just write down something here. So I just want to write down the name of the colors here, orange, green and yellow. Okay, so let's just exit the one here by the short key of shift and tab. So this is how I can use the RAM node to create the document. Uh, in this parent child hierarchy so if you just want to go inside the second chapter what you can do you will simply click here on the bullet and you will be inside the second chapter only and in the top as you can see that we have this uh, parent of our second chapter that is the document okay so in a similar way if i just go inside the yellow here you will be able to see this bread come so we have so the parent of the yellow is actually the one and one is actually the child of first chapter and the first chapter is actually the child of my first document. So that is the breadcrumb. 
so when you go deep inside the topics you will have this bread come here so let's click on the first document here and you will be able to see our whole document here okay so this is how you can create the document and this is how you can use the child parent hierarchy here okay so if you want to add other than the text you will simply click on the add here and you will be able to see the other things here so if you want to add the flash card you can simply do it from here so we have the basic card we have the multi-line flash card that we will learn to create as well so we have the heading we have the to-do list uh, if you want to create we have the document we have the list we have the table view and you can also insert the rich text uh, which simply means the reference image uh, myth and you can also insert the emojis and you can also find out the other options here that are really a lot so here in all options as you can see that we have a lot of the different options here which you can use inside your document okay so right now i just simply create the table view here and in the new table you can create the table with the text so click here or you can use the existing table okay so in the table as you can see that we have the name and the properties and you can also add the other properties here as well but the thing is this is actually the part of the pro version so we can't do actually a lot with the table right now since we are using the free version here okay so this is how you can create the table in document okay so let's just delete this and click here and click on the delete table and if you want to add heading here you can simply do it from here and if you want to add the to-do list you can do it from here as well so let's click on the to-do you can simply write down the task of your day here or something else whatever you want to write down so task one that would be the task two and that would be the task three and you can also create the child ram of the to-do in the similar way as you can see that this is how it works so let's just exit from the task three from here okay so this is how you can create the task here and you can also explore the other options we have the list we have the document and we have these cards okay so now we will learn to create the flash card here all right so let's click on the add sign here and you can see that we have this basic card so click here so that would be the front of the card and that would be the back of the card so let's just write down a question on the front side of the card what is your name click here and on the back side of your flash card you will simply write down your answer here so i'm gonna write down my name here okay so this is how you can create the card and you can see this sign here so if i just click here you will be able to see your flash card so what is your name is actually the question on the front side of your card and if you just want to see the answer you will simply click on the show answer and you will be able to see your answer okay and in the similar way we can also create the flash card where you will have the answer on the front side of the card and question on the back side of the card okay so how can we create this that is really easy let me just write down or doing so if you want to show the back side of the card you simply write down the two left side arrows and this would create the flash card where you can see the back side of the card but the front side of the card will be hidden okay so if i just write down making tutorial okay so this is how i can create this card here so let's click on the card here and you will be able to see the back side of the card and the front side of the card is actually hidden so if you want to see the answer you can simply click on the show answer and this would actually show you the answer or the question whatever is written on the front side of the card okay but if you want to create the flash card with the double side what you can do you'll simply write down what do you study so if you want to create the double side card you will use the left arrow and you will also use the right arrow here and this would actually create the card from the double side and if i write down the computer science and this would actually create the two flash cards here and you will be able to see the four number here because when you create the double side card it actually creates the two cards here so click here and as you can see that in the computer science what should be the question so the question is actually uh, what do you study so you can see the answer from here and in the similar way if i just go back and click on the flash card again and you will be able to see the same flash card 
but the thing is now you can see the front side of the card and the back side of the card is hidden so this is how you can use the flash card in ram node okay so if you want to create the folder so how you can create the folder in the ram node so just click on the create and from here you can create the folder click on the folder and you have to write down the name of the folder so that would be new folder and you can create the document here and if i go back to the folder or you can also upload the sources or you can link the sources or you can use the tags here so this is how we can create the folder so in the folder you can actually create a new document or you can also put the existing documents so as you can see that we have this new folder so in new folder right now we don't have anything so if i want to put my document inside new folder i'll just simply drag it here and this is how you can put my first document inside the new folder and you will be able to see that we have this uh, folder that is my first folder and in the similar way i can also add the new documents here and we also have the text so if you want to create the tag you simply click here and you will be able to see the tags and the tables so if you want to create a table or the tag you can simply do it from here okay so in this video we learned to create the document in the ram node and we also learned to create the flash cards in the ram node and in the last you can explore the tags and the table by yourself and this is all for this video. If you really find this useful, hit the like button and subscribe the channel.